In this video, we will be going over the monetization tab within the Ezoic dashboard. Here, you can do things like link your AdSense account, apply to Google's Ad Exchange, manage advertisement placeholders, include an ads.txt file, configure advertisement settings, and more. To begin, navigate to your Ezoic dashboard and select monetization. If you're a first-time user of the monetization platform, you will first need to link your AdSense account and apply for Google's Ad Exchange. For AdSense, simply include the email you use for AdSense and Ezoic will connect to your AdSense account. For Google Ad Exchange, you simply need a Google email address and then click Send Link. This link will take you through the Google Ad Exchange application in your inbox. Next, you can set ad tester settings. Here you can turn on and off different device types that Ezoic's ad tester can operate on. This bottom toggle, AI placeholders, allows ad tester to test other locations that you may not have implemented placeholders. This gives the machine learning even more opportunity to find the best ad locations for every user, which means a better user experience for your visitors and higher revenue. By turning on anchor ad settings, this will allow an ad to show at the bottom of the page this ad is a very high earning location, so it is optimal to have it turned on. You can again choose for different device types. Within Anchor Ads, you'll want to make sure and have adaptive sizing on. This allows two smaller ads to show in place of one larger ad. Sometimes, the AI detects that this is more optimal for users and revenue than a single big ad. You can also set the Anchor Ad to only show on specific pages, or for the Anchor Ad to show on similar pages. Always Compete is for direct ad orders and indicates that a certain size must be shown due to the creative size. Unless you have a specific direct ad order, it is best to leave this off. The next tab, Key Value Settings, allows you to create key value rules. In Missing Stats, you can see which placeholders are missing data. It will tell you the percent of your revenue that this placeholder was giving and why the stats are not available. This can be due to either a publisher deleting a placeholder or the removed which means the system has not shown an ad in that particular position in 30 days. Next, you can add placeholders with ad code if you prefer to not use the Ezoic Chrome extension, which makes it easy to visually see placeholders and drag, drop, resize, move, and place placeholders. If you prefer to use code, simply click New Placeholder, decide where the placeholder should be located within your website, and then click Save. This will generate code for you to implement on your site. Other publishers will use this code and use it in WordPress plugins like Ad Inserter. Once you have placeholders set, they will be listed here. Adding an ads.txt file in the next section is simple. All you need to do is turn on ads.txt and then have your ads.txt manager account ID, which you will paste here. In mediation, you can link any existing ad accounts you already have to Ezoic, so we can pull from your current ad demand to fill the placeholders with ads. You can do this for both display ads and header bidding. If you have any direct ad orders, you can add them here by going to the Direct Ad Orders app. In the next section, you can disable ads by certain pages. For example, maybe you do not want to show ads on your About Me page. You could include the URL here. Now ads will not show on this page. This setting should be used sparingly, because the less Ezoic's AI has to test and work with, the less accurate it can be in providing the best UX and revenue. In Key Values, you can insert your existing ad campaign targeting options by either page or placeholder. It is important to have native ads turned on, as this increases revenue by an average of 10%. Native ads are simply sponsored content that may show at the bottom of your page or in the sidebar. Besides earning more, it can give your audience an opportunity to find content they may not have known of before. Additionally, if your content is not for children, put your ads on PG-13, as this is the highest paid. By turning on max ads per page, you can control the amount of ads that will show up on a single page of your website. While this may improve user experience, it will increase revenue at a slower pace. Additionally, it also limits Ezoic's AI to find the best UX to revenue ratio with advertisements, so you could be earning less money while only improving UX incrementally. Ad restrictions allows you to set limits on the number and type of ads that are shown on a landing page or a user session based on referral source, which you can set by creating a rule. Again, setting more rules restricts the amount of testing the AI can do, which means you could be potentially limiting the amount of revenue you receive with minimal increase in user experience. 
In certain circumstances, website owners may want to prohibit specific advertisers, which can be done in the Advertiser Blocker section. In Ad Categories, Ezoic helps you to choose which categories of ads are shown on your site, in the same way that AdSense or the Google Ad Exchange does. Lastly, there are many variables that go into ad testing and preference, and Ad Colors is one of them. In Ad Colors, you can test different colored ads on your site.